Thanks, Maitri. Hello, everyone. My name is Prasad, and the topic of this lightning session is using WordPress.org APIs for community. So how many of you know already about WordPress.org APIs? Okay, these are different from the REST APIs, but yeah, quite few. Good. So this is what I'm going to cover. It is going to be a very quick session. Being a lightning session, it will be an overview of things instead of a deeper technical dive. So we will start with the story. The story is about you, I, and everyone who is using WordPress. Then what is WordPress.org APIs? Then I have a quick demo of a tool we built using WordPress.org APIs, which is a plugin compare tool. And lastly, some reference links, which you can refer to go more into detail about this. So to start with the story, as I said, the story is about you, I, and everyone who is using WordPress. So when it comes to extend WordPress, the journey starts with searching for our requirement on the internet. And as a result, we get a set of links. And those set of links include some of the blog articles and some of the plugin links. So when you open any blog article, that blog article also includes some plugin links at the end. So the point here is whenever you want to extend WordPress, 70 to 80 percent of the time the requirement is achieved with the help of plugin. And when you open each of the link in different tab, let's say the plugin links in different tab, you start going through the overview of each and every plugin. You start comparing some different parameters such as who is the author of the plugin, how does the reviews look like, how many active installations the plugin has, what's the support score look like, so on and so forth. So I felt this journey or this workflow is repetitive. Everyone who wants to extend WordPress with the help of plugin is going to follow the same search on the internet, compare multiple plugins by opening them in different tabs. He needs to switch, it, switch in between the tabs to check which one is good over the other. And that's where we dived more into WordPress.org APIs. So these APIs are openly available to anyone and everyone. They provide information about WordPress, themes, plugins, which are available on WordPress.org repository, translations, and stats about WordPress. I have some examples in front of you, starting with the stats API. So as you can see on the screen, so this API provides you the data about the WordPress version and its usage. So this JSON feed may not make much sense, but when it is used to represent in a pie chart, it shows that 56.8% of users are using 6.1. Then there is this another example, which is version stability endpoint. It gives you all the data starting from WordPress version 1.0 to the latest version, and it also mentions which version is insecure, obsolete, or latest. So 1.0 being the oldest version is being listed as insecure. 6.1 will be the latest, which, is, which will be listed as latest version. Then this is the translations endpoint. So as the name says, this endpoint provides you the information about the languages in which the plugin, theme, or WordPress is available. You can go even one more level deeper, like you can get the languages supported for a specific version of WordPress or specific version of theme or specific version of the plug plugin. Then there is plugins endpoint, which gives you the information or the parameters or the data associated about each plugin, which is available on the WordPress.org repository. So you get plugin name, title, slug, description, who is the author, what is the support score, and what are the active installations, and many more parameters. So similar to plugins, there is also themes endpoint, which provides the similar data. So since such helpful and informative endpoints are already available, openly available from WordPress, then we thought, why not build a tool using which 
people can compare multiple plugins on a single screen without needing them to switch in between multiple tabs. So we built a tool which is kind of a SaaS capability, but you don't need to sign up or sign in on this tool, and this is freely openly available for anyone to use. So the tool uses WordPress as a backend, Next.js, which is a React-based framework as a frontend, and Elasticsearch to power the faster search results. So I have a quick shot pre-recorded demo. You first need to go to wplugincompare.com website, then head towards the compare page, and consider any usual scenario, like searching for e-commerce or SEO. So here I'm considering the example of SEO. So you need, it is assumed that you, knew, you know the keyword, and you are comparing apple with apple, not apple with oranges, because you won't get anything if you compare SEO plugin with analytics or LMS plugin with e-commerce. So once you skip enter SEO keyword and choose multiple plugins, all the data is available in front of you. You can go through the plugin description of all the chosen plugins. And if you are observing, you don't need to switch the tabs. All the data is available in the same window itself. You can check since when each of the plugin is available, when it was last updated, who is the author of the plugin. Sometimes we have used plugins from specific author in past, so we have preferences. It also shows in which all languages the plugin is available, what are the ratings look like, what are active installations, and what, what is the support score in terms of total support requests versus solved support requests. And at any point, if you think you need more details, then you can always click on the Read More link that will take you to the plugin page on WordPress.org repository. The compare page also shows about the other co popular comparisons being done by the users of this website. It keeps randomly refresh, refreshing and uh, shows other comparisons being done by the users. So that was mostly it, like how we built WPPC, which is WordPress plugin comparison tool using WordPress.org APIs, which are available for everyone. And here I have some reference links. Uh, I covered some of the links, some of the API endpoints. You can get more information about other available endpoints from WordPress.org, then the website link of the tool, and lastly, its coverage or review on the WP Taiwan. Thank you very much. So if